because you want to heat it up and you use it again. But that's we do other things with that. You make biscotti out of it. So it depends what you want to do with your old bread. But that means you're making a, you're buying a lot of bread, or you're making a lot, a lot of bread, and you got to get rid of that stuff. So, uh, <laughs> how much bread are you consuming a day, sir? Like, how, like oh, I'm gonna I have sandwiches for every day of my lunch. Like, oh crap. So, woo. Anyway, uh, good evening, folks. We're gonna have a quick little video, and we're gonna be just having fun. Uh, we don't have to specifically talk about the video, but it's fun to talk about. I like talking about food. I don't really talk about it much as a topic. I do it for uh, comparisons and symbolism, so guys get uh, allegories well thought out. But uh, I don't really talk about it because the past year I haven't gone out to eat in a while. But I do go out to restaurants a lot. I meet a lot of chefs, I meet a lot of waiters, and a lot of people in the business. So, uh, but I was fun to watch a downward thrust video that I believe Glib posted in the chat. I thought, okay, I'll give it a gander. And uh, lots of fun stuff happening. Tonal is a really fun guy. And uh, it's a video about making a sandwich under the illusion of anything to do or anything related to The Last of Us. I have no clue, but I, you know, <laughs> he just did it. So let's, let's go. Made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. What's up everyone, today we're making Ellie's Steak Sandwich from The Last of Us Part 2. Please excuse the giant monkey bandage on my right pinky. I injured myself gravely during the making of this video. Alright, so we're not going to just make any boring ass <laughs> oh steak sandwich, we're going to take it to oh, the yeah, that looks as good you though. expect on this channel. And to do that, we're going to be making my famous braised short rib grillini, which is <laughs> so oh, He's doing short rib egg sandwich, it. holy shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Braised. Oh, oh, that sounds great. If you can that get any quality so of meat, delicious. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have a good time. It doesn't matter what you make. I would even make a. If you have a short rib, don't make a sandwich, guys. Just eat the short rib. It's delicious. You don't need to make. <laughs> like you, you're, you're killing it. The flavor's all there. The texture's already all there. What do you need bread on top of that for? I don't know. But anyway, there are mm. ways to make like strip or top sirloin steak sandwiches, and you you mince them, and then you season them. You fry them, and you put them on bread, and you're done. There's so much flavor already. You don't need cheese. You don't need all this other stuff. But if you want, we'll see what Tunnel does. Most of my sandwiches are like leftovers. You know, I made yeah, the steak simple. from yesterday. Slice it up. Get it in there. Whatever. Mushrooms, grilled onions. Hit it. Yeah. You Best cheese. sandwich, cheese toasty. Cheese toasty. Cheese toasty. Toast. There you oh. go. Yeah, those are great. I like, yeah, English, English muffin, tuna. Melt some cheese on it. Take you a English few minutes. Those That's good. Yeah. So anytime you have steak, much. anytime you have steak, it's already a meal. To put it on bread is like okay, fine, but the focus has to be the steak and nothing more. If you put any more stuff like condiments, you're you're overkill already. But again, everyone has their own taste. I'm not going to fault him for making his own sandwich. This is his own thing. I just think some <laughs> some things are wasted because you're you have these two competing flavors or four competing flavors at least. And it's just it's just fun to watch. So anyway, you know the the thing about the the steak sandwich that you're saying about condiments is that the the steak should already be marinated or something. It should already be seasoned Cooked, yeah. with the flavors that you want exactly. on it. You know, right. au jus is a good way to add some flavor. You know, yes, but the natural like, flavor. Okay, the the way that flavor works, people understand how they they do it at restaurants. There's four major categories, and there's three other secondary ways of doing this. There's fat, salt, spice, and in. sugar. Okay. Patch fat is number one. Everything is in the fat, whether it's with the meat product or using an oil base or something like that. So if you don't have fat, you probably already messed up your, your savory dinner if it's a dinner dish. Salt is a universal f seasoning, right? Not going to comment on that. Everyone knows salt. Spice is where you get a whole world of flavor from Turkish cuisine, Indian cuisine, and derivatives thereof. So already you have more than enough with those three areas. Sugar is where you get fancy, and sugar is either a sauce or it's a, a layer of, of sweetness, like sweet and sour pork or, or some seasoning. So it's not a condiment. These are all things to make things taste good on top of it. So it's not after the fact. It's cooked with the meal. The other three are cream, cheese, and sauce. Sauces are by a French design, not by a part of the meal. So it's separate, but it's still with the meal when you serve. So you're not cooking it with the sauce it's a separate thing but these are not condiments i want i want to just to just to give my background and how anal retentive i am 
with uh, talking about making things taste good. But um, we're going to see a few techniques here which are good. I think Tonal has some skill. I think he's just using he's using too many techniques. That's the problem. <laughs> Grilled cheese, delicious crusty panini. First, the meat. Grab some short ribs. Trim off some of the fat. It's not going to render in the oven. Season. I don't know. Message that's, coming in. That's beautiful fat. That's you don't want to waste that fat. So maybe he's using it for something else. But uh, hmm. depending on how long you cook oh. it. This beautiful those are nice fat. short. Those are really nice looking. Message fat. coming in. Yeah, those are fat. Like half fat, half meat. It looks great. Yeah. Oh. Brown on all sides, then set it aside. Okay, so what he, he should be doing here is searing the meat, and that locks in the flavor when you do actually cook it. So he has to explain that. If oh. you don't, then you're just like, we'll just set it aside. It's like, are you cooking it? Like, what are you doing? How long do you cook it for? What are you doing here, Tonal? So this is very important because mm. if you don't do this, you're going to get mush. You don't just throw things in a pot and cook them, right? You fry them at high <laughs> heat. You fry them at high heat for, you know, one minute each side, and you're done. Mm -hmm. okay. You have to sear them to seal in the juices, because then later when you're doing the convection, the juices will be able to flow back into the other spaces of the meat. Very nice. This is this is very very yeah, standard I, 101 stuff, guys. But he didn't he didn't say that. Yeah, like, little little ur, a little irked me. Like mm, okay, that's fine. <laughs> but he's doing. Yeah, it. I love how I love how uh, beautiful it is. Yeah. Uh, he's doing it right now. But yeah, he didn't I didn't say it. Yeah, I've been this is checked. I was, the, sorry, go on, go on. I was just gonna say I've been checked the video, but um, you, he usually puts uh, detailed um, instructions on uh, in the uh, description, and uh, it's one of the um, criticisms that people have had about his cooking videos is that he needs to have a little bit more um, annotation of those kinds of facts, like you just mentioned, if he's not going to say them or show them. Um, that's the that's the, the criticism video. of Tonald in general is that he doesn't have the he do, he's not going to give you every single detail. He's more focused on the aesthetics and the visuals and the experience of all of it. He wants to be like, look at how great this is and how it impacted me and it was so important. The details they get a little brushed over. That, that's in his video game videos. It's in his exercise videos, whatever. But he's on track. He's so on track, and that's why Rags, I think, and. I think Rags was the one that said that he should do a nutrition for gamers series <laughs> where he teaches people basic cooking techniques. But my contention and, and what I really think Tonal gets out of it is he likes this high level stuff because it's so wondrous to him. And he's he's so interested in the the pageantry of it that and not in a bad way, but just that he's more interested in, in how everything feels and comes across than the actual teaching you how to do the stuff. You know, and this applies to just about every meat. So when you sear meat, it's like a steak, pork, chicken, whatever. This is what you do. You you always well, not chicken, but I mean, you could. Chicken is a little different. Yeah, chicken chicken's more like you're you're doing a. It's not you're just searing on one side or the other. It's it needs to get in there Message a little bit in. more on each side. Yeah, be careful Actually, with chicken but, sometimes, just because of salmonella. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, oh. But it, that, that's why I like um. Uh, just a little, you know, a little bit of butter, really. <laughs> uh, go a long way. For steak, if you're talking about this, these kinds of steaks, you don't need butter. You're totally fine. Unless you're doing like mm. uh, uh, air dry, um, an air cooker, like maybe. But other than that, there's plenty of moisture. There's so much fat. Like that's half fat, half meat. There's so much fat. There's no, there's no need for extra fat. That's, that's one thing you learn. You don't use contrasting flat fats. There's no need. You're wasting, you're wasting fat. Yep, there you go, good. good Next, camera. make the brazen liquor, which is the liquid sauna that- Okay, he just said brazen liquor. I don't know what that is. Neither do I. Bra braised in liquor? Maybe, but what liquor? I think he's doing, a, maybe I guess it's a little bit of a, a, f white a wine? finishing. Maybe, yeah, maybe white wine. I, I don't know, yeah. it's light. But who calls wine liquor? I don't know. I've never heard the term braised liquor, so I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, that's that's, that's tonal playing fast and loose with it. Yeah, it's like, English. <laughs> yeah. What is this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks good, though. Yeah. Crackling. Yeah. Good camera work. Yeah. Mm. Next, make the braising liquor, which is the liquid sauna that the delicious man is going to take a bath Passing in during its time in the oven. 
dice some onion, carrot, celery, leek, and garlic. This is all gonna be mush because he chopped it so so small, and it's he's gonna cook it for hours and hours at low heat. So unless you're making stew, uh, I don't not sure what he's doing, but this could work for like Christmas dinner, I guess. But that's a what's that trio called? He's making it's, it's a veggie dish thing. The, well, there's a uh, trinity in multiple cuisines. It depends on what uh, he's referring to. The, the trinity for Italian cuisine is celery, carrots, and garlic. So it's different. For but pork. isn't it the, isn't it the French uh, mirepoix? Um, isn't that what he's doing right now? Uh, I would possibly. I don't know what their trinity is. I don't. I don't reference it. But uh, well, I, he might be making a pinkage or whatever because it's tomato puree. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> But but it's it's very French is what I'm getting at. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't know. The garlic's pretty r- universal, and c- I know carrots are specific as well as celery specific to Italian cuisine. So this could just be a stew. I mean, I mean that's true. <laughs> it could be Polish or Russian. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, like, I don't know. These look like uh, <laughs> like Vidal. They're not even Vidalia onions. They could just be uh, cooking onions for all I could tell. Right. Right. Look. Then take those vegetables and blend them in a blender. He's with just olive smashing oil with his hand. Peppers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, let's just go back there. And during its time in the oven, dice some onion, carrot, celery, leek, and garlic. Leek, leek and garlic. Okay, that's that's more French. Then take those vegetables and blend them in a blender yeah. with olive oil and peppers. <laughs> okay, so these look like Love California that. peppers to me. I, I can't quite tell because they're pretty long, but uh, they're long and thin. I want. Yeah. Why do you think or, that he just went with uh, a f- the, like smashed garlic? Why do you think that he wants the garlic to be individual? Is it because you could put the whole of a garlic thing in there if you wanted to? Well, he must have at least that. at least four or five pounds worth of uh, of meat in there. Um, you don't need a whole clove of garlic or a whole bulb, rather. That's too much garlic. You you maybe need maybe one or two bulbs tops. For that Thought Patrol meat. says downward thrust took the I just want to grill meme a bit too literally. <laughs> <laughs> so what he has right here, I think, are pickled uh, peppers, and they're raw. So what you want to do is keep them raw. You don't want to cook with them. Anytime you pickle something, they're raw. You marinate them in the brine for days or whatever, and that's it. You're done. You don't need to cook with them. If you cook with them, you're, you're draining the flavor. You're draining all the, the reason why you have it. It's like let's say you take uh, sun-dried tomatoes, right? Those are dried and con- concentrated flavor. You can cook with those because they're stored in a brine. It's natural. This is salt. This is a brine. It's like making on- olives. It's like, would you make onions and then just throw them into a, a, pad, a pan? Sure, you could, but you're losing out all the flavor. You're losing out all the point of making an, an olive. So this always, uh, when people use spices and, and, and pickled things, I'm like, what are you doing? You're, you're eliminating... All this flavor. So when you buy like sauerkraut at the store and they, they wash it, which some people need to wash it because it's too strong for them, but that just means they're losing flavor. So they could use a little bit of sauerkraut, but sometimes they want to have like a big plate. So they can't, it's too, it's too acidic for them, so they have to wash it, right? So that's, that's always my little beef with people who, can't, who don't like the acidity. It's like, okay, if it's too acidic, fine, wash it. But these are not, this is not sauerkraut. This is just one pepper. You know, don't don't ruin a good pepper. Look what he does with it. Olive oil, more fat. He destroys it. <laughs> it's gone. You thought this was a soup? You thought this was like a stew? Oh no! Nope it's it's gone. This is. I love this though. <laughs> I, I I love the visuals of it. It's like, oh, mm, visually, yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? <laughs> you gonna drink that? Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> Is that a sauce? I wonder. Where do you think he got the? You think it's like experimental, or do you think this is like a recipe that he's uh, tweaking to be his standards, or uh, like because I, no I know that there are there, that like you know you can you can say this is the wrong way of doing it, but in cooking, a lot of people have like roundabout ways of doing stuff. You know what I mean? The problem with with all these ingredients is you're gonna cool. make a mush and. You didn't have to do this to, to make the flavor. And whenever you liquefy something, it, it takes on, the liquid absorbs whatever you've got very easily. And that's why liquids are great for mm-hmm. cooking because it, it, you could taste things much better when it's liquid. The problem is you've just, I mean, I don't even know how hard he's, he's blending. the. Is it like a soup? Is it is it thick chunks? Is he on high power? Like what's going on here? 
So I think he's going to combine it somehow and to make like a like a tomato because I saw the tomato puree and the the thumbnail I think so I th I think that this is the base that he's going to put the he already seared up the the short ribs so he's going to take the short ribs and put it back into this tomato based stuff and then pull them out and maybe he used that sauce later for something else I think it's just supposed to spread the flavor out but I'm I'm with you like I that's why I asked about the garlic bulb I'm like if you're if you're going to cook it in a pot the, to get the flavor out across the whole thing to make that juice that you can then like pour and and dip the steak in or have it uh like warm up in or whatever he's doing with it it doesn't have to be pureed so i'm interested if that he thinks that divide that putting the same amount of flavor in each like taste with this with a consistent texture is what he likes more than just the flavor because i i'm i'm like you I, I would be a little bit less I would chop a little thicker. Yeah, I would well, keep it a little chunkier. You know what I mean? A whole onion. He used a few carrots, and there's so much sugar in carrots, and he used a few celery pieces of celery. Celery doesn't do much, so this the cel the the carrots are going to overpower everything, and you can see the color is already more mm -hmm. orange. So he's making some sort of soup, but I mm. I don't know why. Like it's just I I'm willing to bet. Uh, what I don't know how much. Uh, <laughs> I'm willing to bet you a couple scallions that he's going to use the sauce as the basis for for how the the steak will cook in. It'll cook this these flavors will be cooked into the steak. Then he'll take the the short rib things out and put it on the press like you're talking about, so that it has this infused flavor. It, it's it's kind of overkill. Like I would just get a mushroom soup or something very straightforward that's thick and creamy, and just use that as opposed to just let's mush four vegetables together like. Uh, why? What? <laughs> like, why? Are you making vegetable stew? Like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? No, we're making braised short ribs. You're like, what? <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> this mixture, which smells really fucking good, by the way, into a very hot pan to caramelize it. Then add tomato. Okay, so caramelization uh -huh. is you're taking sugar, and you're you're making an exothermic reaction, and you're burning the sugar, so you have like this caramel flavor. Um, uh it's it's not what you typically do, but you can do it. I would just I've never seen it done with a sauce or a soup or whatever the hell this is. There's that pinkage or whatever. He's making the tomato. Was oh, that tomato paste? What is that? Yeah, it's tomato yeah. paste. He's gonna he is gonna um He's adding more sugar? It. Mm hmm Holy crap. Dude, what he's are you... going advanced. This is yeah. this is too much. It's French, man. Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> He's making it's a French boring. sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. I've seen sauciers; they don't they don't add that many ingredients for a sauce. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh no way, dude! No, no, they're more dainty about it. Absolutely. Yeah. No paste before adding beer, beef stock. Beer? <laughs> Why are you adding beer? Oh yeah, we're going all the way. What kind of beer, oh, sir? Yes. Is that a blonde the beer? beer? You... Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> I guess he's make he's gonna use the the beer to infuse all the flavors. I guess and beef stock. Okay, so beef stock is already overpowering, and to add beer, I don't know what the hell that's gonna do. It really depends on the. This beer. sounds super dank. It is. It is overkill. Like <laughs> to have stew. Like I don't know if you guys have had like Scottish or Irish stew, where they add like Guinness. Like that is that's your your seasoning is done. Okay, you have whatever meat you had. You put in some carrots and, and vegetables. You chop them up in big hunks, and then you put one can of beer, and you're done. Okay, you don't need to <laughs> puree your vegetables, <laughs> add tomato paste, add some beef stock. No, you're done. You're, you, one can of beer. That's a Guinness. Thing. We've, we've gone, we've gone beyond sandwich. This <laughs> is no normal sandwich. This is not yeah, a sandwich. A, this a is banquet like, in a bun. This is like three hours of work here. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Where is this on the bread? <laughs> This is, it seems as though this is, this is, this is killing your taste bud, the video. This is killing oh, no. your taste buds, the video. Oh, this is, this is so, this is, okay, so, like, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, Smud, but I personally, when it comes to, like, steak, I'm, I'm, I don't need much, you know, a little bit of marinade, or if you're going to do a peppercorn thing, or you're going to do a little bit of blue cheese, sure, however, sure. whatever direction of the flavor set you're going to go, but I, I really, really like this idea 
that he's going to add the beef stock into it. And then the cooked off <laughs> liquor is going to, ha- or the beer or whatever is going to have all this flavor. This is going to be so amazingly flavorful I, I, when I it never, comes out. And I, it's going to be, in, it's going to be beyond steak at that I, point. I've never caramelized beer. I don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had, made, have you ever made beer can oh. chicken? I've, I've seen some of the turkey. I've seen oh. some do beer can turkey. Yeah. Beer can they chicken is up, a good yeah. go-to. I like doing oh, that. Oh, that's that's delicious. It's interesting yeah. because it, it it evaporates while it's cooking, and you don't you don't pour it all into the because it's you're making the whole and you're having the the turkey stand up on the the 500 milliliter can right, so it just evaporates as the which is interesting. I don't know if that works with the, I don't know convection oven maybe, but interesting stuff. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I I again I I like drinking beer. I don't want to add beer to very very hot places unless it's a stew obviously what you should do is just add beer to your you know your (laughs) omelets just perfect i like i like cooking with it's called the o'neill way of making an omelet a little bit of white wine and in a with some sauteed chicken works yep i like um uh i like cooking with vermouth really that's another good one wow um yeah but i'm i'm not a big beer guy uh I just to say, uh, my uh, the reason why I'm so silent is Message because I have absolutely nothing Matches to right. say when it comes to cooking. All right. I have a neater. I, I have a GCSE in it. I got an award. They shut down the <laughs> because no one was paying attention, and and that's the only reason why I got an award because no one else was actually doing the lessons. <laughs> we need we need the British to pay more attention to cooking. It would help them out a lot. Okay. <laughs> hey, yes, very much. It, it's just the fucking country folk. The country folk don't exactly know how to cook. I don't know about that though, because they cook everything. They'll eat every single piece of, <laughs> of an animal. What? No, I'm talking about Eng- English, con- like <laughs> Yorkshire oh, country folk. British like Yorkshire cuisine pudding. is very special. So yeah. Look, the Yorkshire pudding is a rare case of the Yorkshire cooking going fantastically. You can't tell me when you add, you know, you, you bake up some Yorkshire pudding, you add a little bit of gravy, you have a side of sausages, uh, and like you have the, your peas. That is. It's high top tier taste right there. The problem is I don't know whether if you it's say part otherwise of a meal. you're a satist. I don't know whether it's part of meal or dessert, Shana. Which one is it? Do you know? It, um, no, it's part of a meal. What, what? <laughs> Yorkshire are you pudding. Sure? <laughs> it, it's this. It's the same kind of uh, paste. It's the like, same as pancake mix, but you, your gravy. It's like meat gravy. You pour it inside, and you, you what you do is you get all the gravy inside the cup. You then take a giant chunk out of it. And the gravy just goes all over the plate, and it's mm, it's gorgeous. Okay. Well, friends, uh, this has been fun, but I have to uh, depart. I will like, see you really, guys later. S- really soak you done. the pudding with gravy. Mm. Ready? Adios. Have fun. All, all right. right. Adios. Later. Later. Let's, let's keep going. Again, and I I cooked that for my ex. It was amazing. Oh. Whoa! No! Stop. Cover and braise in the oven for about two hours. <laughs> when it's done- okay, so he's braising in the oven. That's a, that's a thing. Uh, two hours is fine. Uh, I think that's a lot of material, though. So look at look at the <laughs> the edge of the plate. <laughs> it's just like completely reduced. It's like okay. <laughs> oh boy, is that oh is that sage? What is that? Yeah, it could be sage. And it should fall off the bone and just smell like heaven. So while that's in the oven, we're going to work on our accoutrements for the sandwich. First off, the spread. I hate mayonnaise. Yes, I said that. Yeah, okay, I, I'm guessing <laughs> I'm guessing he's doing this just for himself. I don't know if he follows a recipe. I, I thought he hated carrots. He no. does dislike cooked carrots, but, you know, he. I'm sure he oh, hates that mayonnaise. Was cooked carrots. I'm sure he hates mayonnaise because... He probably, that was like one of the only things that was in the fridge when he was a little kid. You know, and he's like, oh, fuck, I gotta make oh, a sandwich. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I personally, I, and I'm I'm gonna one up Tonal. I can't fucking stand when you use mayonnaise in a salad. If you make pasta salad or potato oh. salad or any of that fucking garbage, yeah. you're a pleb. Get out of my kitchen. Yeah, I can't yeah. stand it. <laughs> what I do like though is a little bit of mayonnaise, maybe to enhance the flavor on a sandwich. If you're making a turkey sandwich, that's about as much as I like about mayo. Mayonnaise mm. is a little weird yeah. to me. <laughs> Turkey club. Only, a little bit my of only experience with mayo is like egg mayonnaise when like you, you know you have it in the sandwich because you go down to like W H Smith's uh, like it's because egg mayonnaise lasts longer they put it they you know they, they don't have like regular egg 
So you have to live with the egg mayonnaise and it kind of ruins the whole sandwich. Uh, I, I think see. it's okay. Yeah. No, that would that would not be great. I can see why you would say that. There's very little food I, I don't enjoy. So uh, there's nothing wrong with having preferences though. And if he doesn't like something that's, again, there's oh. nothing, he's making this, ju I assume he's making this just for himself. So that's cool. It's absolutely disgusting. And okay, no, come on, dude. Just just say you don't like it, all right? Instead of mayonnaise, I'm going to make my own spread. It's a goat cheese spread made with parsley. Goat cheese spread, sir. What do you? Why, why would you do this? You know how I, I listed those seven things? Cheese is its yeah. own category. If you have goat cheese, you're done. You just add goat cheese, okay? <laughs> you don't, yep. you yep. don't need to do anything special with goat cheese. It's fresh, it's creamy, it's thick, it's lots of fat. You're done. Tarragon, goat cheese, raw garlic, and lemon juice. Oh my God, dude. Garlic? More garlic. Holy jeez. Oh. I don't know what he's doing, but it's, he's making a spread of some sort. Okay, fine. Next up, we need something crunchy and fresh because this why, why, do, why? Do you, how? What, what's the what's the philosophy? Texture? Yeah, we need something crunchy. Why? Because <laughs> it's crunchy. biscuits. I don't know. Oh boy, this is great. Sandwich is quite unctuous and rich. We're gonna make yes. It it's overkill. You've killed it, dude. You've got so much <laughs> flavor. You don't need anything new. Uh, if you bought beef short rib from from the rest from a, a grocery and then you bought beer, I mean that's you're done. Like that's great. You're good. You're good to go. Making all these spreads and <laughs> goat cheeses, like holy jeez. <laughs> I would have goat cheese separate as a starter <laughs> and then just have the sandwich with the steak on it. That'd be totally fine. Anyway just a very nice salad here i'm going to use some very thinly sliced fennel fennel from so he's making a salad which is not part of the sandwich or is he i guess uh, yeah maybe you wouldn't put a salad well in he was sandwich. saying the crunch the crunch of the sandwich what no you have bread that's fine what is he doing i don't know what he's doing he's making a salad i'm like okay fine cool but whatever which are those at the top of the fennel bulbs that most people throw away? Kale and microgreens. Oh. I'm going to leave this completely oh, raw and undressed. Oh. Next up, the most. Wait, he just. It's raw? It's not a salad? What do you. Wait a second. Raw and undressed. He just chopped a bunch of, of, of vegetables together and kept it raw. Okay, maybe he's going to add it to the sandwich. I don't know. Or dress it later. I, I can't tell. Fennel fronds, which are those things at the top of the fennel bulbs that most people throw. Oh, you don't eat fennel like that, dude. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Maybe, maybe it's maybe in his part of. No, you don't eat fennel. No, you don't. So, what is he going to do with it? I don't know. Away, kale and microgreens. Going to leave kale this. Kale is so heavy. It's just it sucks up stuff flavor. It's like oh, this is a heavy salad. Holy crap. It's completely raw and undressed. Next up, the most yummy thing in the world. French-style caramel onion jam. Caramel, again. <laughs> he's making a jam from onions. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, how, many, how, how many of these categories does he want to include? He's trying to go for the whole gambit. Maybe he's like... Dude, this is sick. This is so awesome. I love it. Maybe he's in a competition. <laughs> he's, he's going way over the top. He's like, all right, the sweet quotient. So he's got extra amazing amounts of flavor, in my opinion. Like all this beef broth or the beef stock flavor mixed with the tomatoes and the and the carrot flavor. And then that's going to add on to the sweetness from these these grilled onions. It's like, oh, this, this, he's just trying to do he's he's trying to concentrate as much flavor in it as possible. This is so over the top. So I, I totally get where the Smud is coming from, but I'm getting more entertainment out of Smud being having his purest sensibilities being yeah. shaken by this over the, over so the top when, biggest when say, sandwich. When you say jam, there's three categories <laughs> of how to treat a fruit product into into can it, and jam is sort of in the middle. Message coming. There's in. a jelly jam, and then Not there's uh, what's it called? Uh, marmalade. So those are the three kinds. And a jelly is where you liquefy it to make it the pure sugar. A jam is it's chopped up and then blended. And a marmalade is, is just chopped. It's just 
added yeah. to a jar. Yeah. So if you're saying jam, that means you're taking a specific kind of ingredient like a fruit and you're using that as a, as a sugar base. But I don't see that. I just see onions. So maybe he's using the sugar from the onions. I don't know. And then he's also caramelizing that, that. So he's yeah. cooking the hell out of it. You're like, okay. Like if you Is don't he going to smush it? Uh, I hope not. I think I think that'd be really stupid if you fried something and then blended it. That would be ridiculous. So, <laughs> no. so bringing this back to the game, could you imagine if we actually saw, um, oh, I can't remember his name, but he, him making oh, yeah. all of this, go through the whole, all these steps to make to make this uh, dish, and then he hands it, you know, like, I, I'm really sorry, you know, about what I said before. Here you go. And she's like, pfft sandwich yeah i know he would be like oh are you crazy (laughs) this guy spent all night working on this whatever this is (laughs) it's amazing it's got jam in it he's it's all to make a sandwich i love it i fucking love it keep it up tonal don't listen to smud boy he's a heathen (laughs) he doesn't believe (laughs) i want five kinds of meat in my steak sandwich like what why (laughs) Bring on the beef. And cut it just like this. Nice, thin slices. Okay. It's red onion. Cold pan, oh, it's going to be so butter, thin, it's going to just sugar glaze. Or equivalent sugar? Such as what? Look at all that fruit. sugar. What? Are you, what? Do you at <laughs> That's like a cup of sugar. Uh, <laughs> get glazed, uh, bitch. How much, <laughs> how much caramelization do you want? <laughs> That's a whole pile of sugar. get all sugar. sweet up in here. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Message in. Is this another dish? Patches Is he making a second thing? Is it the salad? Maybe. I don't know what the hell he's doing now. Holy sugar. That's that's too much. I mean, anyone could see that's too much, right? You're looking like that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but look at how good that spoon looks when it's just That's a huge <laughs> spoon. That's that's at least half a cup. Of sugar. I would go. Uh, I would go deep into the butter, obviously, because I'm a I'm a fanatic. So, I like cooking. Oh my god! Fat, but oh man, that's a lot of sugar. sugar. It'll cook off though, you know I, the, the the ratio. I could see how it works. No, I think a chef would be like crying right about now. <laughs> you want some candied onions? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, let's let's just. I mean, okay. Coconut palm, whatever. Salt pepper. Coconut. What is he? Salt? What? What do you? Why would you add coconut palm? <laughs> Smudboy.exe is stop responding. <laughs> Salt, sugar, coconut palm, and onions. That's been jellied. I. Whoa! What is he doing? For chilies and chilies. What? Chilies. Chilies. Oh. Yes. Get them. Are these spicy chilies? sweet? <laughs> what are you? Oh. What kind of pepper are they? Oh my god. What are you doing, sir? <laughs> what is this? Is, is this a, is this a spread? What are you doing? I want to know. I oh, really this do. Is, this is so good. He's yeah. It's gonna be spread on one side. It's gonna have that that kind of creamy with the fennel, and then on the other side, it's gonna be sweet with the onions with a little bit of the the hit from the heat of the chili. That's gonna be great. This it's is insane. Crazy. This is like salt, sweet, spicy, savory with the with the caramelized onions. And I don't like what is going. I don't know what he's. He's making a second stew essentially. It's, he's just adding all these flavors together and burning them. Dolo, Dolo I, I'm not about to orgasm, but I'm I'm loving the combination of Tonald's just ridiculously indulgent cooking and Smud. Like if you look at his face on uh, the icon, that's exactly the face he's making this whole video. Probably. My mouth. Is <laughs> what open. are you doing, sir? My mouth You're has doing... just been constantly open. You're like using Ray. lard with fat back. What are you doing? <laughs> beautiful pieces of meat and I don't know what he did to them I just destroyed them but okay you're taking my steak it's pure sure. it's good you, you're, it, Smud is like uh, the Kalashnikov AK-47 equivalent he's like the steak is good comrade don't, you don't need to do all this just eat steak pretty much it's yeah. delicious uh. it's flavor yeah you want you want nice simple cuisine I don't mind when people add flavor like they like a sweet steak or this or that but he's adding spicy Sweet, savory. I don't know what else. Onion cheese. Che- cheese. 
I, oh yes bring it on <laughs> bring it all in my mouth goat cheese not cheese but goat cheese <laughs> fresh thick rich goat cheese. Oh, holy jeez anyway yeah Gold fashioned let, water <laughs> let the sugar flow by through weight you. as the butter in order for us wait, 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 butter what is wait, wait, wait. monk fruit <laughs> coconut plum, monk fruit whatever yes salt pepper chilies and <laughs> gold fashioned water in the same amount by weight as the butter in order wait, wait he put butter in there as well yeah 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 let's do it this say wait, wait wait he said the same amount of weight of butter as water do you understand what that means? You just like how, just like how my grandma used to make her, <laughs> she 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 would make her glaze for pies, and um out of um butter and margarine. When she would make mashed potatoes, she'd put sticks of butter in, all just dump them in there, so, and it would come out and be like, "Wow, this is so good! How do you make it so good? <laughs> the secret is all the fat." So if you have a stick of butter, that's roughly a hundred hundred grams. That translates to about a hundred milliliters of water. But that's that's you know, by you know, volume, not by weight. Weight is something else. You know what's you know what's great about that though is look at how skinny Tonal is. You can tell his this is like his indulgence meal. You know. I don't. Yeah. I or don't maybe think... he's just doesn't. He's one of those people that just doesn't get fat. I don't. I don't. No, think... he said he was really fat and really unhealthy. Uh, There's a whole video on that. <clears throat> Tonal is the chat American. I I don't know what's going on anymore. I just oh, like uh -huh. when I think sandwich, I think bread ingredient. Condiment done. Like that's it. You don't need anything else. You do seasoning on the on the ingredients. You do a nice little flavor with this with the condiment to balance the, the whatever. Nice fresh bread. Done. Done. Finished. You don't have to do anything else. This is I don't I don't know. We went to salad. Now we're doing a a jelly thing. I I don't know. I I'm lost. <laughs> and what is he doing with parchment paper? Let's find out. It's very strange. For us to caramelize the onion without burning it, we're going to need a paper lid called a cartoon. Wait 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 what? Rewind. Chilies and good old fashioned water and the same amount by weight as the butter. That's a lot In of water. In order for us to caramelize the onion without burning it, we're going to need a paper lid. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You don't, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you, you just don't burn the onion, okay? You watch it, you, you, you cook it and you say, is it caramelized? Is it brown? Done, stop it. You take it off the element, you're done. Turn, turn the temperature down. Right? Uh, just, just yeah, slow you could you could turn it down. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the hell he's doing now. Doesn't make any I don't sense. No, but I'm interested. Yeah, this 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 is like trying to solve a mystery. Take parchment paper, fold it into a rectangle, and then a square. What? Why? I love it. I love it. Let's <laughs> go. Keep going. Then create triangle folds from one side to the other. Cut off the tip to make a vent, and then cut the other side in the size of the pan. What the. F what? <laughs> <laughs> is he steaming the thing? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> the absolute madman look on his face. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's probably a French technique, but I've I don't never seen it for making jelly. Like, what the lid? I messed this one up, so we're gonna try again. Okay, but what does it do? Nailed it. Bring this mixture to a boil and then turn it down to the lowest setting on your range. What? How does that stop it from burning? Wow, that's pretty cool though. So like, I guess nice. that there's enough, there's enough like convection, but there's enough uh, like uh, it, it's allowed to move through this paper in a, in a way so that it's uh, it's cooking it up and you know what I mean. There's a, there's an amount of convection. The heat is allowed to circulate, but it still is allowed to release that enough. No. So I, I'm I'm sure that that's low. That doesn't make sense to me. Unless unless we're unless we're boiling fruit, where you have a lot of liquid, that's why you'd have a, a lid like that. If this is just look at the size of his pen, all he has to do is put on a lid. Or if or well, he's making a sandwich's worth of con, I can tell it's like a small amount, but he is. De that's definitely him trying to make like a uh, a like a, um like an herb jelly. Or like a jam. He's trying. It's like a very thick jam, almost. There's not enough. Okay, first off, you need a lot more liquid to do that and to reduce it. Well, I, I don't think I don't think we've seen all the steps because I, I I'm curious if he's going to add more liquid to it later. This might be think? a French technique, but I've never seen it happen that quickly or whatever he's trying to do. Because if you have a pot that big and you want to be concerned with not burning it, you cook it on a low heat. And you put the lid on it, and you allow you allow it to, to the heat in the in the the, the air in the in the pot and the pad. So uh, the air in the pot 
to cook. And that's why you don't put something on the actual ingredients. I don't, like, that's why I'm a little lost. I'm like, what are you trying to do? Maybe. Let me, let me look up. I've never used a cartouche. I don't, I don't know about this French cooking technique. Yeah. You're right, though. It is French. I think a lot of his techniques are French. I've seen it on, on pies. Even for other, for I've seen it with other fruits, videos. but not whatever the onions and I'm sure there's that's, some that's sugar. what he's doing. Yeah, I know. That's that's what I think he's doing. Obviously, he's trying to create a um, <clears throat> umami sweet, not totally oh, uh, a little yeah, bit of savory yeah. jam because the the jam is going to conflict with um, the the heavier flavors of the uh, of the steak. I don't. Oh, know. I'm curious though where if he's going to add more heat because it's very sweet. Everything is very sweet yeah. so far. That's what I, I'm. This very, is very. I'm very concerned with because I I've. I just can't wrap my brain around all those ingredients and then burning the crap out of them to, to caramelize them and then and then. <laughs> well, that's the thing is that the cartouche makes it so that you're not burning it. I right? yeah, but how? Yeah, yeah. I don't get Parchment it. Paper. How? Just just use a lid and, and use low heat. It'll I guess it, I guess that's not that makes it too uh, that destroys the consistency of it. Maybe I, I think I that's hope, what the because I, I see it a lot with. I've seen this kind of cooking done. Now that I'm looking it up, with desserts, yes, a lot fruits. Yes, I so, understand you know, that. Yeah, with pies and what have you. I, I've seen that too. But unless he so he's trying to soften it up, but maintain its consistency. Just, I guess just use low heat, man. I, I don't know. Maybe he went to like a cooking class, like a like a night school or something, or maybe he did something where they taught him that. Maybe, but <laughs> I've never seen it done. Maybe he just that. wanted to do it. Don't you think that? Don't you get the <laughs> sense from all of this that this is just like fun? This he just really. This is like probably yeah. what makes this is probably what has replaced video games as part of his entertainment. Maybe so I he bet. Here's picture. my theory, and <clears throat> and Tony Tony Loki can correct me if I'm wrong. But when he started to get into shape, and when he started to get more into nutrition and fitness, I think that that's when he discovered that that was more interesting to him. So now cooking, he's on this like journey of cooking and he's doing all this extra shit. I guarantee in 10 years from now, if he's still cooking, he won't be fucking around with a cartouche. You know I, what I mean? I think if you were if focused he, on health, you <laughs> wouldn't be doing any of this. You wouldn't be, you yeah. Wouldn't, How, yeah, none of this would work. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, so like this is very, this is high level cooking for, for very little reason, but yeah. obviously the reason is to make it entertaining for the audience. Good, good. I don't think that he's making an instructional video no. necessarily for all of us. To, is, like I would never follow this recipe because it's just too much work. This but is, seeing him do it is like, um, it's like a Linus Tech Tips video. No, you know no, what no. I mean? I don't go to Linus necessarily for detailed information that's why i go to gamers nexus but this isn't like an alton brown thing you know what i mean it's a, it's totally for the panache <laughs> and i and that's why i'm i get more interested as the video adds more ingredients because i'm like wow what is it so what's the what is this going to end up as I, and i think that that's a uh that's entertaining this it's is very like, entertaining this is like a goldberg machine i'm just like why are you doing all these steps what are you trying to accomplish <laughs> to make a sandwich a really? apparently he's a computer He's a computer programmer, so maybe he's like, "All right, how can I design this really, th this like process that'll be interesting and, and have all these steps?" And maybe it's like, uh, like sometimes I throw a wrench in my own work where I'm like, "I want to try something that is that I haven't done before," you know. And and so like, let's see what he's what what has he done? He's using a cartouche. He's using a blender to to after chopping things up and all this. It's like it's so extra. But it's it's. I think that that's what he likes. I think that that's his Message stick. coming in, and I, I encourage anybody Action to take through. their stick and, and run with it. I do know that French cuisine is very very specific and why they do things and how they do it. So I right. don't know if this is the proper technique. I I'd have to do some homework. But uh, ask ask well, some uh, my, sh my friends. Yeah, they might know. I, these these techniques that make that make sense to me in as techniques, but I think that he's overdoing it because I mean I'm a lazy guy. I, I get in there, I want to, you know, whatever flavor I'm go going for. I I'm I'm like what you, I'm like you. I'm like I, I need a condiment or whatever sandwich. Put it out there, and you can make a really good sandwich out of that because of the quality of the ingredients. You don't have to do all of these fancy things. But I'm also not taking slow motion photography of my <laughs> cooking. <laughs> I don't I don't enjoy it that much. <laughs> You could though. You have the nice cameras for it, I'm sure. The the question I have is what what am I gonna have tonight? I'm gonna go get some steaks. So I'm thinking, hmm, filet mignon. 
and and this is all making me very hungry. <laughs> but uh, I actually, on that note, I have to go and, and shower and get ready because I have a reservation soon. So I will all right, see Cliff. you folks later. All right. See you. Thanks for tuning Thank in. Thank you. Uh, again. See you guys. See all you right. guys. Let's keep going. Let that till there was basically no moisture left in the pan. Wait, 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 wait. There's no moisture left in the pan. I thought it was a jam, sir. Where's the where's the sugar? <laughs> wait. I think that's it's gonna be here. How how could you reduce things with no moisture? I don't. Did you burn it away? Like what did you do? Where'd it go? Yeah, well, I think that was I think that was the cartouche is that you're able to uh, evaporate or you know get uh, cook the onions without burning them, and then also remove the moisture. I still and then don't he's understand. He's gonna do his next step, whatever it's for. I I still don't understand what that means, but okay, let's let's see. Then go ahead and add some balsamic vinegar. Oh my god, no. <laughs> You're going to waste all this balsamic vinegar. You're just burning it away. <laughs> Have you ever cooked with balsamic vinegar? It just no. evaporates. It's vinegar. No. Okay. Things you pickle or things you have yeah. vinegar with, you generally, like, let's say you mm -hmm. make borscht. Okay. Borscht is a Ukrainian uh, Polish dish, it's beet soup, pretty much. You only put in yeah. a tablespoon of vinegar. That's it. You don't need any more. Be and it's in a big brothy soup, okay? And you could you could barely yeah. taste the vinegar in borscht. If you would balsamic vinegar, this has to be like really thick or something. I don't know what you're doing. But this is that is so much balsamic for already a reduced bunch of slices of onions. I don't know what's going on anymore. Why not just why not just put the stuff in the balsamic vinegar and then and then serve it? <laughs> why go through all this? Yeah. Marinate it in the balsamic vinegar. Oh, that's usually vinegar. how I use Yeah. That's how I use those uh you know what I do? vinegars like that is um uh what? I get red onions, I chop them up and I brine them for two or three days in or I just keep them in the jar until I want them in vinegar. That's it. And serve oh, them, yeah. serve them as is. That's it. Mm. You're totally fine. Yeah. I don't know what the hell he's doing anymore. Stir it up and set aside. I have to admit, these onions, they taste like heaven. I'm also going to make some- <laughs> You have a little bowl. From all of that, he's a little tiny bowl. <laughs> oh God. What is that, like a con- Is that like an ornamentation on top of the sandwich? Like, ooh, little yeah. onion. Yeah. <laughs> Vinegar sweet potato chips to go along with her. Vinegar sweet potato chips, sir. What is happening now? <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, those do look. Those, yeah, those do look good, though. Yeah, but this is a thing. I think it gets to the side. Unless he's going to put them in the sandwich. If a sandwich, a salad, now we have chips he's making. Holy Jesus. All right. Total knows his stuff. Let's keep going. Sandwich. Mm. And this, my friends, is where things went very, very wrong for your boy Tone Loke. I ended up cutting myself on the mandolin when I- Oh my god. Ooh. Holy crap. Ooh. And if you guys ever cook with a, or use a mandolin, if you don't have the guard that you put the, the vegetable or fruit or whatever you're chopping, yeah. on, don't yeah. use the mandolin. Okay? Mm. Never, ever use a mandolin nope. unless it has a guard. Period. Okay? Yeah. It is a knife, and you are slicing very quickly against your hand. You want a guard, okay? I don't yes. see a guard anywhere in this picture, Tonald. What are you doing? <laughs> you crazy I'm, man. Hello? Hey. Shiny, you there? Jabuza? Are you there, Shiny? Can't hear you, sir. Let me let me switch uh let me switch servers. Oh no, it's my side, it's my side. Is it gone? I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was, I was going to say is um, I, I want to bet that 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 thing, that vegetable just there, that's his finger. It just sliced right off. It's just, that, that's his thumb. Oh. oh, the thing on the left, that's his thumb. <laughs> okay, let's go. I was slicing the potatoes. Uh, yeah, it, it sucks. I had to go to the emergency room and I nearly had my finger amputated. That's not oh, why. Holy, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. What are you doing to make a sandwich, sir? <laughs> no. You chopped Look, your finger he's off. Very dedicated. Yeah. He's very dedicated to wow. his sandwich. Wow. Calm down. Let's let's all just calm down, sir, and just take a breath and say you're, you're overdoing it. Just 
Tone it down a bit. Holy tonaled. Calm down. All right. See, even even I get a bit queasy thinking about that because that's a very, very sharp knife. Okay. Yeah. Cut was very, very deep, but not as deep as my love for this community. So I pressed on. <laughs> ah, but I love you guys more. <laughs> but I love Lisa so much. <laughs> now, this, this is confusing. I don't know what he's doing with cheese, but okay. Onwards to get the job done. Once all the taters are chopped up, soak them in a solution that is equal parts water and white wine vinegar for about an hour. Fry them up at 375. Wow, he is going all out again. Wow. So wow. he's so he's again he's marinating the uh or brining the potatoes and then he's making a second fry. <laughs> Holy jeez, this guy's over the top. And these are just chips. He's making chips. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no the, reason. The, 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 oh, delicious, though, I'm sure. Oh. Oh, gosh. And then season with malt vinegar powder and... Malt vinegar powder <laughs> is crap. Do not use malt vinegar powder. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> Same with garlic powder. Okay. Any kind of powder is useless. Just use actual malt vinegar. Uh, okay? If you yeah. cook with dried, like a, a, like a, a freeze-dried or reduced-dried thing like... Like garlic powder, it's almost tasteless. You can't even tell. Use the act. I don't know all why. Right. If he has all these balsamic vinegars and whatever, just get malt vinegar. It's not. It's not inexpensive, or it's not expensive. It's very cheap. Yeah, I don't really use powders myself. So yeah, it's only for it's only for like having. I need something. And I'll have it for years and years. It's in the counter, but I, honestly, I hate it. Yeah. I hate all the all the dried uh, ingredients, like like dried garlic powder. It's just it's useless. Salt. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So salt and vinegar and oil, whatever oil he's using, I, I don't even hear it. This is very important. You have to know what oil you're using at what temperature when you're frying something like like chips. This is extremely important or else you're, you're wasting and burning oil. So canola oil, olive oil, whatever oil you've got, you have to know the, the heat of vaporization when it, when it evaporates. And not only that, for, but for cleanup as well. Like, what are you going to do with all this oil? You can't spill it down the drain. Yeah. You're going to clog your drain. So you have to get rid of yeah. it properly. Yeah. So he's he's leaving out a lot of important information if you guys ever want to fry stuff, like like uh, chips or, or fries. And why did he use a mandolin to make, ch like, just, just chop them up, dude. Use a knife. <laughs> Come on. More salt. What, how did they come out that way? They just <laughs> magically appear? You skipped like three steps. You have to shape them. You have to dry them. <laughs> how did they get there, mm. sir? <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. I guess he just knows how to do it. That's fine. Okay, so now that the short rib is done, retrieve it, shred it, and shred it. Oh, he's shredding the short rib? Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just pull it apart. <laughs> pull it apart. It would be so yeah. delicious. The texture would have been maintained. Uh. So he's shredding. Uh. He's, pulling the, he's pulling the beef. It's like, okay. You can do this. This is not wrong. It's just it's such a waste of texture. Like, have you ever, guys ever had, like, really nice stew where the beef cubes mm. are just like melt in your mouth that's fantastic yeah imagine oh. taking that beef cube and just taking two forks and mushing the crap out of it that's what he's doing i don't know why but he's making a sandwich not a stew so i guess there's some there's some logic to that Ash the bones. yeah no, it's, yeah uh, it's just it's basically pulled pork but yeah it's, uh, i was just I was gonna yeah. say yeah pulled pork taken a very lovely golden hue from the vegetables and the beer. The reason we blended the vegetables in the first place is so that the meat would get infused with the flavor. If we chopped them instead, we'd more or less have a stew, which is- You did, you did chop. <laughs> what are you talking, you just did that. He showed us the afterward picture of him chopping up, blending it, and then adding it to the beef. Like what? Then you braised it. What the hell do you think was going to happen? You just did it. Like, what? <laughs> what is he? Let me just rewind that. What did he say? 
<laughs> the vegetables and the beer. The reason we blended nice. the vegetables in the first place is so that the meat would get infused with the flavor. If we chop them instead, we'd more or less have- Wait, chop the beef? No, 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 chop the vegetables instead of, instead of uh, blending them like this. He did blend them though. What is he talking about? No, that's about? what I'm saying. He's, he's, he's stating the difference between um, leaving them chopped and blending them. He did both. <laughs> what is he? What are you talking? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, oh, oh sorry. He's talking about a stew. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't blend a stew. All right. I'm fine. I'm. I'm sane again. All right. I'm good. <laughs> the stew, which is right. not what we want. Simple things like this are important when you're making these kind of dishes. All right. So we. Have yeah. You just wasted all those ingredients. All I could taste is maybe <laughs> some sugar from the carrot and maybe some garlic. That's it. Have all of our components. Let's make the sandwich. Grab the. <laughs> you see his head there in the background. <laughs> what was that? Chop them instead. We'd more or less have a stew, which is not what we want. Simple things like this Message are important when you're making these kind of dishes. Patrick all right, so we have all of our components. Let's make the sandwich. <laughs> Grab the best. Why is he just? <laughs> he just pops his head over. <laughs> like he's creep, like creepy, like ah. Sandwich. <laughs> Go on. Right here, I have sourdough seeded bread, Precious. and I'm gonna apply this sourdough bread. That's pretty heavy duty bread. Okay. And he's adding all this fatty cheese spread he just made. Holy crap! That's that that you could eat that by itself. It'd be deliciously fine. But it's the base of a sandwich. Holy crap! Spread only to one side. The stuff. Yeah, you better only put it on one side. That's way too much fat. <laughs> Jesus, that's cheese. <laughs> His powerful over the, yeah, arms. Yeah. Apply a mountain of white cheddar. What are you doing? <laughs> Didn't you just ah. say it was too strong? And now you just put all this. What is that cheddar? Oh God. Oh, what oh is the man. Point of this. Oh. Why would you do this? Who is starving? <laughs> Have you been starving for like two months? And you're like, I gotta put more cheese, and then I gotta grate some cheese and put that on the cheese, and then. I gotta blend some cheese with my other thing. You're like, okay, <laughs> why are you doing this? Holy crap! Is he making a pizza? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> is, is he gonna grill this? Uh, uh, more over the top. Yeah, this is the kick, kick it up to eleven. You're the king of sandwich cheeses, and then pile on the meat, but not too much. Sandwiches are all about balance. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the hell up. This is not about sandwiches are all about balance. Here's here's two kilograms of cheese I've just created like on top. A, like a guru, like some some guy like he's like a master. He's like mastering balance, you know, just like karate or kung fu or something. And then he just has life is like balance. And he's just there making a sandwich. He works at like a sandwich shop. He works at Subway. And it's like karate is like making a sandwich and he's just like oh, it's gonna have balance this giant mound of cheese it's all about balance guys <laughs> it's like none, none of this has been balanced none Hold <laughs> well you don't understand it's the bigger sandwich it's big oh uh, yeah yeah it, the big and the bigot sandwich not too much not too thick of a bread, not too many condiments, just the right- Not, not too many co you put like 12 ingredients into your spread. <laughs> just your spread. <laughs> There's too many condiments in your condiments, mate. Honestly, when you bite into this, you'll be so confused. Like, what am I eating? What am I chewing on? I-, I uh, uh, He'll die from it, I'm sure. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll just, yeah. It's an it overload. Boom. Maybe he's Double going on like a journey. Eats, like, you know how. Stops working. Remember Charlie the Chocolate Factory? He, he gets that uh, gobstopper, which has like seven layers of flavor. Oh. <laughs> and it lasts yeah, forever. He, yeah. <laughs> is he going on a journey for like yeah. two months? He's going to eat this sandwich uh, every day. Like, one bite is like, oh my God. That's, that's enough. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> Proportions. Daddy. One for daddy. Caramel oh. <laughs> <laughs> onions. Scoop. Whoa, he's putting the onion. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. He's putting the onions on top of the meat. 
Oh my, what? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, I, can't, I can't even fathom what that's going to taste like. It's just, there's so many ingredients. I just <laughs> Sugary, savory, spicy, salty. Oh my God. Cheese. Cheesy. Uh, oh, yeah. All, all the cheese. I don't know. I'm he's, lost. He's running the gambit. He's going for all of the. You know, <laughs> what did you say? Was that three or five? You said. And then three sub uh, flavors. I don't know. Um, he's going for all. It's, it's, all he took the food pyramid and went, okay, I want that. And I just throw it all together. <laughs> oh. Come on, and then put on the crunchy salad right on top. Then- oh, he's putting the salad on top. That's, that's that, that salad had like seven ingredients, and one of them was kale. You know how powerful kale is as a flavor? With all those other raw vegetables no, on top, that's I don't I don't cook with kale. It is so strong. I, I'm like, dude, just I oh. thought he was gonna make a separate dish, and that would be a salad. Yeah. I thought that was what he was doing, but nope. I would have chopped it up a bit more, but okay. I mean, this this is a pretty big piece of bread, so I guess it'll fit. Yeah. We'll fill up the sandwich. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! <laughs> what? Sprinkle any wayward cheese that fell off onto the top of the bread. What? This is what's going to create that extra crunch that we want. What? Now scrape the butter. On- oh my! No! <laughs> no more fat. You're going to kill yourself. <laughs> Why so much butter? Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> And cheese. You know, okay. If you're, wait, if you're using a, a panini press, right, and you want it to be crispy, yes, you do add a butter or olive oil to make it crunchy. But you don't add cheese. That's going to gum up the freaking press. It's going to stick to the top. Yeah. This is this is just a mess. I I don't know what to say. I I I'm just horrified. Like what? Do you... <laughs> half of that is a pizza, and that's half of that is cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he just would have made a pizza. Would have been good. I don't know. Sourdough bread. I'm like, holy shit. Thick stuff. Okay. Both sides with your bloodied mangled hand and prepare for the panini press. I'm on my way. Oh my god, what's with the music? Oh my god. <laughs> I have a I have a grill like this, but it's not a panini press. It's just a grill, which it looks exactly the same. So I guess you could use it as one, but I, I grill steaks, so yeah I, guys honestly go to a restaurant or whatever uh, oh. a lunch place like a, a food court order a panini with and without the press see what, see that any if there's any difference to you I doubt you'll find one it's really just a a way to squish the the, yeah. the sandwich down and to give it some sort of browning on top that's about it like I, I really don't notice yeah. the difference This has nothing to do with The Last of Us Part Two, just so you guys like nothing, absolutely zero. So other than it's supposed to be a steak oh. sandwich, and guess where there was also a steak sandwich. Yeah, that's about it. It inspired him Last to do something crazy, essentially. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and it's beautiful. It's it's crazy. It's it's crazy. It's just scary, but it's beautiful. I mean, someone's got to be eating this thing. I hope he does, because that's going to be one hell of an explosion. It's like wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating for another 24 hours. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Where are the chips? I'm on my way. What is this monstrosity? You made two sandwiches. <laughs> Holy crap. <That's, laughs> that was one sandwich. Yeah. I'm on my way. One of those plastic knives. Okay, cool. Oh, they're ceramic, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're ceramic? I thought they were plastic. Okay, cool. He has a really nice house. Like, this is a gorgeous kitchen. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was like a minute of no talking, just looking at the sandwich. It's like, oh. 
What is this thing? Where did all the cheese yeah. go? Where's, yeah. it, where's all that mozzarella? Yeah. Or it probably cheddar? melted off to the side. <laughs> <Where's this? laughs> well, you know what happens when you make like a cheese toasty and you put too much cheese in there? It, it, out the side. I know, but it's one yeah. kind yeah. of yeah. cheese. This is like three. I don't know what happened <laughs> to the other one. <laughs> There's the chips. Oh, look at that. It's a platter of chips. All right. Yeah. It looks nice. It looks beautiful. That's really. amazing. I just can't believe anyone would do that. Tastes like shit. Do you say it tastes like shit? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Take oh, break. he's done. He's dead. Did he get a coronary? Like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Did his pancreas go kaboom? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> I think he just shot himself. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Marvelous. God damn. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, you say so, buddy. Okay. Zelda versus food. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. That, that was that was just I don't know what to call that. That was experience. That was the total. That was our <laughs> first experience, folks. Yeah. Oh, tonaled. Well, they say you never forget your first tonaled experience. I'm trying. I Indeed. I really that was a blur of of ingredients. I don't think I could figure that out. Um, guys, <laughs> when you make a sandwich, I want you to get two ingredients that complement each other, but they're distinct. One's a meat, one's a fat, one's a pork. I don't know. Get is this vinegar. homework? No, no, no. Just in general, when you yeah. make a sandwich, right? <laughs> like you like cheese, you like this. Just Right, just right. Take, Here's your assignment. Yeah, just take two things you like and add those to bread and see how it works, okay? <laughs> Start from there. And just learn as you go. Please, please, please do not braise beef and then mush it with a bunch of other mushed vegetables and then turn it into a, a, a mush. Like, just don't do that, okay? It's, it's a beautiful texture, okay? When you, when you reduce it and it just falls off the bone, that's, that's a beautiful thing. I had some uh, braised short rib actually uh, three days ago. It was fantastic. So, oh, nice. Yeah. No, it's very, very easy. You don't do a lot of mess. One flavor. It's simple stuff. So, ah, yeah, that was over the top. Let's read some super chats because I totally avoided that. But uh, sorry, to, sorry about that. I just I I was in shock. So, all right, <laughs> Alex Halo, wait until you eat a a, a hachama a hachama a, a VTuber food. I have no idea what that is. VTubers do not eat. They're they're artificial. Okay. Uh, Joe Crazy, the video should ju have just gone with the name Bigot Sandwich. Yeah, that would have been perfect. But yeah. he would have got it flagged, I'm sure. Uh, Gemini Samimi, I'm starved and broke. Are you happy torturing me? I don't know. If you get hungry after that, <laughs> I don't know what makes you get up in the morning to get breakfast, but that is not it. That is, that's a catastrophe in the kitchen. Oh, uh, uh, Mike Tessa. I'm we have a tuna toasty tonight. Yeah, that one. Yeah. See, you have cheese and you have tuna, and you're done, right? Maybe some yeah. bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, yeah. all right, simple stuff. Uh, have a bigot sandwich from Captain Lord Tonald. I don't know what. The, I don't think that was a because I think the sandwiches in the in the game were mm. much bigger. So I forgot to have. Someone forgot something apparently. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Joe Crazy. Yeah. I'm in the mood to watch the Food Wars anime now. Oh, okay. That's, oh, no. Oh, no. That's food uh, Wars. over the top. Yeah, that's over the top anime food. So don't don't yeah. believe everything you watch or you yeah. see on, on that show. Yeah. So, it's fun, yeah. but it's silly. Shiny, do you know about Food Wars? Nope. Or Shokugeki? No. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like if a, if a Mary Sue um, uh, cooking... And then uh, whenever somebody bites into the food, they have, like, an extremely orgasmic experience. 
complete with clothes bursting off and um and uh just men and women just like having these like transcendental experiences just eating food yeah there was a there was a show called uh, yakitate i believe or yakitate i can't, I can't pronounce that mm. in japan which was about bread so the whole thing was about baking the same premise pretty much of shokugeki message coming in so that that's that was the first yeah. one i saw and then so shokugeki no soma was the one that made it very popular and ridiculous mm -hmm. totally ridiculous uh dolomaticus i have made two of the things tunnel has cooked and it didn't disappoint at all i will give him the benefit of the doubt he has a handle on it i i hope oh, i skipped a whole bunch i'm so sorry i just skipped a whole bunch i have to go back up um here we go joe crazy squidward that is a heart attack on a bun it is certainly a lot of stuff on a bun heart attack is on the list yeah <laughs> mark in 3d uh smud the best chef on the citadel next to ramsey oh dear no ramsey is is truly amazing uh there's only a few things i disagree with but that's because i'm italian and i know the the uh the actual recipes so I thought you're canadian yeah we're a line of immigrants I'll take it yeah that's how it goes uh da, 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 da. okay that was dolomaticus for the previous quote uh tweet thank you or tweet ah super chat yeah joe crazy <laughs> smud needs to watch the the Babish video on putting together the bubble ba base bass order bubble bass. What's bubble bass? Uh, it's, I think it's a SpongeBob character. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Babish is not bad. I really like his stuff. Actually, it's pretty good. I've seen a few, but uh, he's pretty good. Gotta say, he knows his stuff. Joe, crazy. Imagine almost losing your finger over a sandwich from a disappointing game. Yeah, that's that's nuts. This guy's passionate. That sandwich better be the best damn sandwich on heaven. I, uh, honestly, um, I think it's a, it's, it's a mush. It's a pile of mush. I'm not saying it's a bad mush. It'll taste good, but it's a pile of mush. So whatever you want to call it, it's mushy. Uh, Lenny the Shark, where was the bigotry in the sandwich? I don't know. See, Tonal makes everything better. So give, give, uh, give bigotry and... Uh, political messages the tunnel and it just at the other end comes like pretty pictures and and unicorns it's always happy in the tonal world so whoo that was that was a yeah that was an experience so thanks guys for tuning in thanks everyone for shiny and uh and fairy joker and of course glib for hanging out and uh staying so long no. i wanted to just do a day of just uh you know, talking about anything. And I think we're going to do that next Smud Talk. We're just going to have you guys in chat give us topics and maybe we'll watch a video. Yeah. We'll have at least one planned yeah. and we'll just talk. That'll be two hours of us having a good time. How's that? If that's a good idea, tell us in the comments below yeah. when this video starts baking and yeah. we'll get on it and we'll plan a day. So we got to plan out our movie night still. We're still busy this week. I'm busy this week with work. But hopefully in the afternoons or evenings we can get something going. So... Gentlemen, it's been great. We'll talk to you, everyone, real soon. Good night.